Hello everyone again. Today we are going to speak about drone. We are going to speak about surveying a land with a drone, especially for IDP or refugee settings. For this purpose, you need a drone which is compatible for that. Below in the notes, you will have a link that shows all the models compatible for surveying. You need an application installed in your smartphone for the capture again below you will see the link for the application and finally you need the software that processes digital images and generates 3d spatial data for example edges of meta shape or pix 4d mapper i will use for this case edgesoft meta shape this tutorial is going to be split in four phases preparatory work at home field survey digital image processing using agisoft metashape pro and finally digital elevation model versus digital terrain model and embedding the digital terrain model into srtm model you need to install the application dgi go4 this application this application adjusts all the settings of your drone, like camera setting, security setting, takeoff setting, max altitude setting, and so on. Additionally, you need to install the mapping app Pix4D Capture and register. Of course, you need to load all the battery battery for drone, for remote control, and for the mobile phone. In our case, I went with the mayor on the field. The mayor showed me the boundary for the plant camp. Home back with the Google Earth or Global Mapper, I've identified the area. Once your field has been identified, you have to define the area where you want to fly. In this case, I decided to fly over this area, so I will have as well part of the river. And of course, I will have a big boundary around our site. Once the global area has been identified, you should measure the size of the area that you want to cover. In this case, we have below 520 meter on this side and around 800 meter on this side. Unfortunately, my drone is not going to be able to fly over the whole area in one single flight. I need to split the area into flights. At this point, I have to identify the best takeoff location. I have for this case two options, option A and option B. Option A is higher elevated, which is good, but very difficult to reach. It is in the forest, while option B is very easy to reach, but lower elevation. If I take off on place B, I will have to fly my drone in two flights. The first one will be around 400 north and 500 west. The second fly would be around 400 south and 500 west. At this point, I prepare all my material. I will make a test fly at home. I will load the takeoff point into my GPS. This is very important because I may not identify the location once in the forest and I can go on the field at the first occasion. <laughs> 